Hi, I'm Rose Oatley, and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious macaroni and cheese bake I know you're going to love. We're going to start by boiling some water and adding half a teaspoon of salt. While our water is boiling, we're going to prep our pan with some butter. If you prefer, you can add spray. If your butter is too lumpy, you can always use a brush to smooth it out. Now that our water is boiling, we're going to start cooking our pasta. You want to use elbow pasta, and I prefer the Barilla brand, but you can use any brand you like. Just be sure to cook it al dente according to your box directions. In the meantime, while our pasta cooks, we're going to start on our cheese sauce with four tablespoons of unsalted butter. I have half a block of Philadelphia cream cheese that I let sit out for a while to soften at room temperature. I have cut this into small pieces and I'm just going to break this up and let it start melting. I love using uh, cream cheese also in my broccoli soup, so be sure and check my video out for that. You have to just be a little patient with the cheese. I have my heat at low heat at about a 2 and I'm just breaking this up until it starts melting. I'm letting my cheese melt, so I'm going to go ahead and break an egg into this cup and whisk it. We also want to add two and a half cups of heavy cream, which is the same as your whipping cream. Now let's go ahead and add this to our cheese. I'm also going to add half a cup of milk. We're also going to be adding half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of paprika. We're gonna add half cup of sharp cheddar. Half a cup of mozzarella cheese mozzarella and half a cup of parmesan cheese all right we're going to give this a quick mix and you're going to notice it start to thicken just a little bit we're going to be adding some salt and pepper and this is to your taste we're going to continue to mix this until our cheeses melt so that we can have that nice cheese sauce that we're looking for this is starting to look a little creamy, so let's go ahead and turn off the stove and set aside. As you can see, I have already drained my macaroni. Now we're ready to add it to our pan. The sauce is waiting for you, Mr. Macaroos. Let's go ahead and add this to our macaroni and mix. Um, yeah, that was cheesy, just like our macaroni. Now it's time for our cheeses. We're gonna start layering with our sharp cheddar cheese. And I love lots of cheese. Who doesn't love a cheesy macaroni? I'm going to follow with a layer of mozzarella. Next, I'm going to add my Parmesan cheese on top. All right, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my sharp cheddar cheese. So let's go ahead and top this off with the rest of our bag, which is an 8-ounce bag that I used here. And like I said, I love it cheesy. Wait, I've got a little bit more cheese left in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and just finish it up, guys. Let's do this. Now we're ready to put it in the oven for 20 minutes or until your cheese melts at 350 degrees. All right, guys, our macaroni is ready. I really hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, share, share with your family and friends. Thanks for watching.